Hey what's up guys welcome back to Tech Matrix this is your host Bharat and today we are going to check out how to install Freedom OS on your OnePlus 5T and also a review of that let's get started Firstly, you need to unlock flash to up and root your device. I'll leave the links in the description or also you can find them on the right top corner. I've already installed the Freedom OS here, but just for you, I'm going to show that once again. So let's get started. Head over to XDA developers and download the Freedom OS ROM link. I'll leave that in the description as well and then transfer that to your OnePlus 5T. I already have that on my phone and just in case you need, you can also download the stock ROM and the stock recovery as well as twerp recovery as well just in case you need it later on i will leave the links for all of this in the description so it's easy for you next boot up into twerp if you don't know how just press the volume down and power button simultaneously until you restart and let it go and you will be in twerp once inside twerp first thing that you need to do is backup and once you're done with that ensure that you wipe your device next click on install and locate the freedom os file that you downloaded and uh, click on swipe to install. Now we'll go into a beautiful aroma installer of the Freedom OS. On this screen, you can select whichever language you want. There are plenty of languages. I'll choose English and click next. This is the welcome screen. Again, click next here. And then on this screen, click the install button, which is on the top. Now on this screen, click I agree with the terms and conditions and click next. Now on this screen, you will get a couple of options. Yes and no for each. The first one being, if you want to install this as a clean flash or you want to update the ROM if there is an update in the future. So click no for now because it's a clean flash. Once you get any updates on top of Freedom OS, you can click on recommended for dirty flash. And then the next one is pin and pattern protection. If you want to keep your same pattern and click no. If you don't want the pattern and you want to remove it, then click yes. I'm going to keep no for each and going to click next. On this screen, you pretty much get options to either include or exclude apps. I'm going to click on include and only going to include some of the apps that I want. I'm going to keep Android Pay, Google Calendar, Google Calendar Sync, Google Camera, Google. I'm not going to need Chrome because I use Chrome Beta, so I'm going to skip that and I'm going to click on Google Cloud Print and whatever other stuff that I need and then I'm going to click next. On this screen you can include or exclude system apps basically your Ant Hall service, basic dream, BT MIDI, drive icon pack, all the stock apps that you get on the OnePlus 5T you will be able to choose whether to keep it or to remove it. I'm going to keep some of it. I'm going to remove OTA and a couple of other stuff that I don't need you can see here and uh, make up your choice and then I'm going to click next. So on this screen, this is uh, the exciting part. This is the fun part. Uh, this is the extra mods that you get on the Freedom OS for your OnePlus 5T. You can enable root access. You can enable add away, enable ADP bridge, Google DNS, Freedom OS wallpapers, emoji, arise system. Arise is the main part. I'll come to that in the later and substratum and then enable wideband Wi-Fi and so on. So I'm going to choose whatever I need. You can choose uh, for yourself from this and then click next. On this screen, you can choose to install SuperSU or Magisk. SuperSU will break safety net and Magisk will not break safety net. So I'm going to choose Magisk SU and then click next. And on this screen, you'll get Arise settings. I like Viper for Android, the latest version that's on top. And then I like the V4A profiles as well. So I'm going to click both this and I'm going to click next. I don't need any of the others. On this screen, click OK and then click install now. Now, because I've already installed freedom OS I'm not gonna click that next button I'm gonna skip this but for you you need to click next and then reboot once you are back into tour recovery now for you you will need to do the complete setup I've already set my phone up so I'm not gonna do that right now so the ROM is butter smooth as good as a stock ROM plus you get a couple of features which is magisk arise sound system v4a profiles add away host files basically and then obviously doesn't break safety net as well so I'm gonna play this music right now and uh, when I when I change the sound mod you will probably see the difference in uh, the way the sound outputs and uh, just for you to see let's just begin this so right now I'm going into the sound profile so right now I'm gonna change it to feel the beat so right now it changed to about bass and now I'm gonna change it to bass fire yeah 
So there you go. So this. Let's change it to bass beats. So again. So like I said, uh, it has a lot of sound profiles. I, I like Viper for Android a lot. You can choose to exclude Viper for Android, but I definitely recommend using Viper for Android because it's a very good sound mod. You can get a lot of equalizer profiles. It's not a normal equalizer like you get on your music apps, but it's a complete different experience. You should obviously try and see for yourself how good the Viper for Android and the profiles that you get are. And obviously you get Addaway as well. Addaway is basically a host file setting that you get to exclude any ads to show up on your phone i use it sometimes but i i keep it off at some times uh, depending on my preferences and then finally you get magisk as well so you get magisk as an app and uh, obviously you don't get to break safety net by checking here you'll see that safety net is intact and your phone integrity is also intact it's slightly safer way super issue does break safety net so Majisk is a slightly comparably a safer way of uh, using super su or uh, super user and uh, in this you also get a lot of modules as well so inside the modules i have already installed a viper for android fx for magisk module but you do get a lot of other modules uh, on the download section so you can download it and it will get installed automatically on uh, the next boot so there are plenty of profiles here and then finally you also get the super su tab where you can uh, modify any super su actions for an app application that you've already installed and allowed super user or if you're not allowed you can change it here so yeah i really love freedom os and i've installed it on most of my oneplus device and freedom os is a complete stock based rom so you get to keep a lot of stock you know uh, settings or applications uh, even the look and feel is pretty much stock with a little bit of extra mods and i'm in love with freedom os currently i used to use resurrection remix rom on uh, my oneplus 3 but it's still under development or probably not started development yet so i'll keep giving you a lot more rom reviews guys uh, so hit that like button comment subscribe if you want to get more updates from tech matrix this is bharat here guys and talk to you guys in the next one